Buddy. Right now we've got more than 4,500 viewers watching. And we are underway. It's the gold medal game as Team USA misses their first attempt from the floor in this contest. My Samuels trapped along the sideline. But Canada will retain possession. If you haven't already, go ahead and give us a thumbs up on the broadcast. Click that like button on our YouTube stream. Let us know you support FIBA's coverage of international youth basketball. Six to shoot for Samuels. Into the corner, three on the way. Felix Day misses. Osirui pulls out the rebound. Ethier, he launches the three. Splash that one, and Canada's got an early 3 0 lead. Amanda Quit fake the three, now outside to Peterson. His three attempt misses. Rebounded by Cameron Boozer. Boozer has been a rebounding machine, averaging 9.4 boards per game. Now USA will get it back. Officials are going to say that went off of Kamai Samuels. You were in Fremantle, West Australia. Sorry, Matthew, I don't believe you're watching from the moon, but that's a good try. <laughs> so it's Team USA with four on the shot clock. Long three on the way, missing by Mandiquit. Heat the rebound, and a fresh 14 for America. Peterson off the glass, no. Pete the rebound, the put back. Finally falls in, but that's not going to count. One of the Americans came into contact with the rim while the ball was on the cylinder, so that will not count. Definitely going to be a little bit different competition than U.S. have played in this tournament thus far. The Canadians a lot more athletic than any team they have faced. They got the steal on that inbound thanks to the pressure that has brought them five consecutive victories. And now Canada goes up 5-0 on the lay-in by Alexandre Calixte. And now Devonson misses. The putback won't go, but a foul call. Jay asks who I'm rooting for. <laughs> I've been asked this question a number of times. I don't root for anybody when I'm doing a game, even if it's Team USA. I cheer for good stories, a competitive game. I don't want to see anybody get injured, especially at this youth level. So balancing out the fact that I'm from the U.S. and broadcasting from the U.S., I have on a Team Canada shooting shirt that I got in Edmonton in 2015. So that should balance out the fact that I'm, I'm an American calling this game. <laughs> Strong work under the bucket by Cameron Boozer gets USA to within one at 5-4. Turnover. On the inbound, it's going to be USA ball under their own bucket. Cameron Boozer catch and shoot three. No. Tip won't go. Debonsa gets it back, goes up and stuffs it home with two hands, and Team USA has their first lead in this game at 6 5. Had a question in the chat. Asking if I've ever met Michael Jordan. No, I've never met Michael Jordan, but I did have an autographed MJ basketball. My dad won it at Michael Jordan's restaurant back in the 
late 80s, early 90s. I kept it for 20 plus years before I sold it a couple years ago. And now the backcourt pressure by USA, Darren Peterson gets his first two points and now USA up 10-5. Pardon Peterson now has four. Debonsa with the jam. <laughs> yeah, I'll wash the shooting shirt after uh, after this tournament's over. Honorary Canadian in their eyes. I appreciate that. Certainly loved my time in Edmonton in 2015, calling the Canadian ladies winning the FIBA Americas Championship at the Saddle Center. Called the men having a great run in Mexico City in 2015. JJ hits the three pointer. He was one of 12 from the arc prior to that shot. He buries that one, and now Chris Cheng wants timeout. USA up 15 to five. <laughs> Paulie D says he's not giving up till I admit LeBron is better. Yes, I will admit LeBron is better than me. I have, I have no problem admitting that, Paulie D. Boy, look at how athletic DeBonza is. JJ enjoyed that shot from straight on. Held that pose for a while. Joining us, Canada started off this game. On a 5-0 burst since then. It's been all Team USA. That jumper is up and good. 15-7 now. Now Debonsa from the other end for three. My goodness. 18-7. Poa Pete the steal and the lay-in. 20 to 7. And this is what Team USA can do to you once they start turning the screws defensively. Even if their shots aren't falling offensively. They are just so fast, so long, and so athletic. Oh, Pete misses the shot, but gets the foul. Got a question in the chat. How many U16 tournaments the U.S. has won? I believe they won the first seven editions of this tournament, going for eight in a row. from the future in Australia. I guess technically that's correct. Time zones work. I appreciate the correction on the pronunciation for JJ Mendicott. Calling the games all week, nobody said anything, so. I will attempt to say the name correct. Stokes has his first two points. Another one of those 
incredibly athletic players that Team USA has. Stokes and Devonta, I believe, the two most athletic on Team USA. Oh, Pete. <laughs> Darren Peterson, no slouches. Of course, neither are the Boozers. Of course, there's nobody who's not a great athlete on USA. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here. Inside to Cameron Boozer, and he goes up and scores. Questions in the chat. Why can teams never stop this press? Well, that's a good question. These young men can cover so much ground so quickly. After the initial 5-0 burst by Canada, USA has outscored their neighbors to the north. 25 to 2. Outside to Samuels, now into the corner. A Coco misses the three. Hayden Boozer. And now the pull up. Missed, I believe that was Montanati on that miss. Montanati has absolutely shot lights out in this tournament as well. Another steal off the press. And an easy bucket for Darren Peterson. Peterson, fourth in the tournament at 17.6 points per game. Now finally Canada able to break that press. Gordon Charles gets it to Paul Osaruyi and he scores and it's 27-9. Out of bounds, that'll stay with USA. Question, yes, I was the commentator for the U-17 World Cup last year in Spain. The USA won that game after coming back in the second half. I do want to circle back to a question I saw a little while ago before the first by Team USA about Oak Island. My favorite show is what do I hope they do there? Man, I don't know. I'd love to see them build out that that dam around the one shoreline where they found all the uh, the buried wharfs and everything. I thought that was so crazy. All that stuff's underwater now. Love to see them drain the swamp once and for all. <laughs> South Oak Island all day. Asking who's my favorite USA basketball team of all time. Well, I'm a big fan of the uh, Chicago Bulls. I watched Michael Jordan in his prime in the 80s and 90s. And you'll never see a team that good. Teams don't play defense that aggressively anymore. And then when you combine the offense that Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen could bring, historic three-point shooting and Steve Kerr, rebounding by Dennis Rodman, get it. Pulabayo Soruyi rings out and USA on offense again. Alley-oop up ahead to Pete. Has to come down with it, but goes back up and lays it in. 29-9. And another steal and then a backcourt violation by Caden Boozer. Strife saying point that the defense isn't emphasized anymore as Jordan Charles gets fouled on the three-point attempt. (laughs) 
No, I'm not talking about my Taco Bell lunch. But I may talk about my Subway dinner that I just crammed in between the bronze and gold medal games. <laughs> but in sports, just like everything, NBA is a copycat league, just like the NFL, just like Major League Baseball. And trends go back. I remember when Nobody ever thought there would see a 3-4 defense in the NFL again. Rules change. Lots of things change. You're right, shouldn't compare 90s ball to now. It was just so much better in the 90s. Another question in the chat, who won bronze? It was Puerto Rico in overtime as the Bonson misses the floater. Puerto Rico defeated Argentina 86-76 in overtime. <laughs> Nicole asks what my Subway sandwich was. I'm not gonna lie to you, Nicole. I ate it so fast, I don't even remember. It was one of the Subway series, I know that. There was some meat on there. I think there was onions. Now here's Jordan Charles, five to shoot, pushed out near midcourt, driving on Boozer, stepping back, launching the three, no. Rebound finally corralled by Caden Boozer. Coming up on three minutes to play. Alley-oop up ahead, won't go, but there for the putback is Koa Pete. Backcourt pressure as USA up by 20. Three-pointer on the way from Caden Boozer. Splash that one! USA up now 23. Stolen again, that time by Pete. Samuels and the offensive foul. Beg your pardon, that was Jordan Charles on the offensive foul. Asked for AJ Debonsa's stats in this tournament, averaging 14 points, three rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 2.2 steals per game, shooting 65% from the floor, just one of eight from three point range, five of eight from the free throw line. But he hits that one. Oh, goodness. Three on the way from Quinton Ethier, and splash that one for Quinton Ethier. St. Catherine's native scores there. Debatsa for three again. That one misses. Camden Boozer the rebound. Stolen away underneath the bucket by Osuruyi. And here comes Canada inside two minutes. Three on the way from Ethier. Missed badly. Didn't have himself quite gathered. And now at the other end. Oh my. Teron Stokes goes up. Does the cradle rock and rips that one home. Jordan Charles finally into the front court. Goes up over Boozer. Cameron Boozer swats that one. Sierra's watching from Toronto. Go ahead, if you haven't already, let us know where you're watching from with a minute 32 to play in this first quarter. 473 likes on our broadcast already. I'd like to see us get to 1,000 for this game. I think we can do that. And Amali on the handoff to Osuruyi. Seven to shoot. Osuruyi working on Stokes. Puts the shot up. No, DeBons with the rebound. Three 
three-pointer missed. Rebound tracked down by Teron Stokes. Jordan Charles leading the break, going up over three defenders, has it blocked out of bounds. He was in Boston, Midland, Texas, Canton, Ohio, Owasso, Oklahoma. Home of Jalen Montanati. Brockton, Mass, Montreal, El Paso, Texas, Pearl Harbor. Appreciate all viewers from all over the Americas and all over the world. Long three-pointer on the way, just short. And the dunk by Cameron Boozer. 41 points in this first quarter. In a 10-minute quarter, no less. And Team USA is honestly making it look effortless. It's not that the Canadians are that less talented as compared to the Americans, but Team USA has improved exponentially from game to game in this tournament. And another alley-oop to Bonsa, my goodness, it's 43-13 to Bonsa misses that dunk. But there for the putback, before the buzzer sounds, is Darren Peterson. And Team USA scores a ridiculous 45 points in one 10-minute FIBA quarter. After the 5-0 burst by Canada, Team USA outscores them 45-8 in the final eight minutes of the first quarter. We are back with second quarter action live from Poliform Zamna in Merida, Mexico in just a moment. Sharing the expectations of the entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Welcome back to Polyforum Zamna, the gold medal game between USA and Canada, and you are seeing that correctly. Team USA put up 45 points in the first quarter. 45 points. I've been watching basketball for a long time. I've been covering the international game since 2015. These international tournaments at the senior level and below, I have never seen anything like that. That was just remarkable. And it's not like this is a bad Canada team. They've got some athletes, they've got some players. Peterson, oh my goodness. Let's try to run down some of these numbers. 
as we can. Cam Boozer, six points. A.J. DeMassa, 12 already with four rebounds. J.J. Mandicott, three points. Darren Peterson, eight, five rebounds. Caden Boozer, five points. Koa Pete, nine points. And Teron Stokes, five points. USA shot 59%. from the floor in that first quarter. Four of ten from beyond the arc. For Canada, Quinton Ethier, five points. Paul Osirui, two points. Alexandre Calixte, two points. Jordan Charles has four. And the stat page just changed, so I apologize if I missed somebody. They, they flipped some players as they came in and out of the game. Canada 5 of 19 from the floor for 26%, 1 of 8 from beyond the arc. USA out-rebounding Canada, 23 to 8. from the baseline, no. Koa Pete, the rebound. Peterson can't finish the layup, but therefore the putback, I believe, that was Cameron Boozer. A couple of folks asking about Cooper Flag. I think he was 10 days too old to play in this tournament. Saw him last year. Seventeen worlds. <laughs> Underneath to Cameron Boozer, working on the double team, loses it on the way up, foul on Osiruyi. Chat. Icy says, their friend Darren Peterson's in this. Yep, sure is. And Darren Peterson, for my money, has been the best player on Team USA. Although I think, honestly, watching Cameron Boozer, I think Cameron has been content to let his team get involved. I think Cameron Boozer could take over and dominate this game if he wanted to. You can just tell by the way he moves, by the way he plays, that he could do a lot more. And I think that's the sign of a great teammate, a great character individual. And another steal off the pressure, that one by Mr. Boozer. Jackie's watching from Michigan. A question on my thoughts on Kamai Samuels. I think Kamai's got a lot of potential. I think he's a great athlete. I think he needs to work on his shot, on his game a little bit. He's a very good player. I like Patrick Anamali's game for Canada as well. Paulo Sarui. I think Godson Coco has some potential as well. J.D. Scoop says he thinks Darren Peterson's the best basketball player, but Koa Pete has the most talent. 
astute assessment. Question about what I think about Nambi Ogali. I haven't seen a lot of Nambi Ogali. I didn't call any of Canada's group phase games. I've only seen him sparingly the last couple, so I don't have much of an opinion on young Mr. Ogali, but he's six foot eight at 16 years old. You can't teach height, so he continues to develop his game. Never know what he'll be able to do. Pass outside, three on the way from Ethier. That misses. And Boozer lost the rebound, and now USA gets it back. Heat with the follow, my goodness. Now Boozer elevates and swats that shot. Sioux City, Iowa, saying the talent level of this USA group is off the chart. Yeah, it really is. Caleb asks, when I think USA will take the press off? Honestly, I think it's going to be not until the second half. I mean, you don't want to embarrass anybody, but you have to compete. You have to play hard especially in an international tournament like this. This is the best team you faced in this tournament, so... You have to play as if you're only up by two points. At some point, you can kind of call off the dogs. Now Harwell for three, that miss. Cameron Boozer catches the rebound, draws the foul. On McSandre Kalix, they goes up and lays it in. Oscar says U.S. is really good, but Canada playing poorly. Not great shot selection. They need to slow down and control the tempo. It's hard to slow down the tempo and control the tempo when Team USA is, is playing like this defensively. So it's 59-15 now. 14-2 run to start this second quarter for USA. Saruri misses off the glass and a foul called against Team USA. Kind of reminds me of legendary American high school team. 1971-72. The mighty Fordridge Falcons with Quinn Buckner, who went on to star with Indiana University, USA Olympic team, and Boston Celtics. I think that team had four All-State players on it, and their press was very much like this, reading stories about how teams used to practice trying to break a, a press against six or seven players to simulate how fast that defense was. That's what Team USA is like here defensively. And Brandon McCoy gets to tip it. Ron Stokes comes up short on the dunk attempt. Appreciate that somebody got my Thornridge reference. Nothing like mentioning a 50-year-old high school team. Of course, that was my alma mater. I didn't go there then. But that team was legendary. Three-pointer missed by Ethier. Rebound pulled down. 
Baldi had that rebound, got it back to a teammate and then missed. And now USA back to the other end. Defonsa. Now a three from the other side. No. Ethier has the rebound. Coming up on five minutes to play. Three-pointer a little too far and ripping the rebound out of there, Jaden Quaintance, but Quinton Ethier says, no, sir, that's mine. Now, for good measure, Quaintance blocks that shot. Three on the clock for Jordan Charles. Launches the three-pointer and blocked by Brandon McCoy. Bunch of questions about who has a shot at the NBA. I think the vast majority of the Team USA roster has a shot at the NBA. <laughs> Ethan Hadley makes a great point in the chat. I like the way y'all say in Canada so bad, but you go play Team USA. No question. saying Canada doesn't shoot when they're open. Well, the U.S. defenders close so quickly. And you see jump shots getting blocked, three-pointers getting blocked. Sabanza out to Caden Boozer. He pulls up. No. Stolen away. Caden, oh, no call, but he gets it off the glass after the steal by Brandon McCoy. I don't have the average height of Team USA in front of me. I suspect it's around 6'7 or so, 6'8 maybe. Pete is 6'7, Boozer 6'3, Holt 6'5, Defonso 6'8. Oh my! Ron Stokes showing off his athleticism. USA leading 65-15. USA outscoring Canada in this second quarter, 20 to two. Samuels bounces it off his foot, but gets it back. Left side to Ethier, launching the three, no. Rebound, Quaintance. Up ahead, saved by McCoy. Back to Quaintance. The big man runs the floor and gets the lay-in. EL1 with perhaps the understatement of the night. Teron Stokes got hops. Three-pointer up and good by Paolo Sarui. Pretty shot by... 15-year-old from Scarborough. DeBonsa through traffic, misses the layup. High up over Quaintance. Shot won't fall in for Kamai Samuels, but he'll go to the free throw line. Samuels a 37% free throw shooter on the tournament coming into this one. Had to put that one way up there to get over the outstretched arm of Jaden Quaintance. USA ball. <laughs> I 
comment in the chat that trust that Canada will go on a 123 to nothing run. It's possible. I'm not saying it's likely, but. Six hundred forty-four likes on the stream now. If you haven't already, go ahead and give us that thumbs up. And for additional content about these future international, collegiate, and pro stars, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Next Gen Oops. More pictures and videos. USA on the break. Caleb Holt with the easy lay-in. For all the rundowns on this and every other game. Check out the official tournament website, FIBA.basketball slash America slash U16 slash 2023. And another dunk for Team USA, that one for Jaden Quaintance. Rebounded by acquaintance. Kind of mentioned that the commentator broke the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah, this is a little bit different a style of coverage when we do these non senior level tournaments. We interact with social media a little bit more. Say hello to the viewers, read some comments, people where they're watching from. Try to get folks engaged. We appreciate all the engagement we've had all week long. Had a lot of great conversation. Sullivan, so appreciate the shout out. It's been a fun tournament to call. Always love doing Team Canada whenever I can. The women's gold medal performance in the FIBA Americas 3x3 tournament in Miami in December. Love watching the Blue Sisters play. Question What do you tell your team at halftime? I'm assuming you're talking about Canada. Yeah, Canada will absolutely come out of the locker room at halftime. You're going to compete. You're competing against the best in the world at your level right now. So you're going to compete. You're going to try to defend. You're going to try to learn. You're going to see what the speed of the most elite players in the world would be like. And you're going to play every possession as if the game were tied. Benjamin Ingles is asking me to burn my jersey. I'm wearing a Canada basketball shooting shirt that I got in Edmonton in 2015, even though I'm American. I try to call the neutral game, showing enthusiasm for both teams when they do things well. Unfortunately, in this game, USA has had a lot more to be enthusiastic about than Canada has, but I'm not going to burn my Canada shooting shirt. I'm proud to wear it. I'm proud to have called so many games for Team Canada at a bunch of different levels, men and women. Five on five and three X three. Half coming to an end and a foul called on the final shot. Question, where is this game being played? It's at Polyforum Zanna in Merida, Mexico. Another comment wanting to shout out JJ Mandicate. And the free throw is good for Elijah Patterson. No, I won't be suiting up at halftime. Trust me on that.
So we go to the locker room at halftime. Team USA leading by the score of 71-23. USA outscoring Canada in that second quarter, 26-10. USA's 45-13 outburst in that first quarter, and they did that in about eight minutes. As Canada led the first couple of minutes of the game, five to nothing. As we look at some of the numbers on this one. Let's go over all the individual tallies. Caleb Holt, two points. Let's roll the highlights. Caleb Holt, two points. Brandon McCoy, two points. Jaden Quaint gets four points, three rebounds. He also has two blocked shots. We should mention Brandon McCoy, two steals. Hayden Boozer, seven points, five assists, two rebounds, two steals. Cameron Boozer, 13 points on five of eight shooting, seven rebounds. AJ DeBonsa, 12 points, four rebounds. J.J. Mandicott, five points. Oh, a Pete, 11 on five of six shooting and four rebounds. Pete also three steals. Darren Peterson, eight points. And Teron Stokes with seven. For Canada, Jordan Charles with four. Elijah Patterson, four. Alexandre Calixte, two. Quinton Ethier, five. Ethier also three rebounds. Paulo Sarui, seven points and three boards. And Kamai Samuels with just one. No doubt Team USA defense focusing on stopping Kamai Samuels. And they've held him to one point in that first half. Halftime of the gold medal game at the 2023 FIBA Americas U16 Boys Championship. USA leads Canada by the score of 71-23. We are back with second half action live from Mexico in just a few moments. Carrying the expectations of the entire nation. Representing your people and their dreams. The colorful faces in the streets. The screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you. All hope. All heart. Because when you win, you win for all.
Welcome back to the gold medal game of the 2023 FIBA Americas U16 Boys Championship Tournament. Team USA taking on Team Canada. And yeah, you're seeing that score, right? 73-23 after Team USA gets an early bucket here in the third. USA led after one quarter, 45-13. to They put up 45 points in about eight, eight and a quarter minutes. Boozer, another rebound and another put back. And we talked about it in the first half as we interact with the folks chatting on our YouTube stream that this is a historic performance. Up ahead to Cameron Boozer, the easy lay in. Now USA not starting off with the press as they did throughout the first half. Open jumper for Osaruyi, no good. Another rebound for Cameron Boozer up ahead to AJ DeBonsa. The give to Aaron Peterson, but he missed the dunk. My name is Craig Fada. Hope you've been enjoying this game. If you're a fan of Team USA, you certainly have been. And honestly, if you're a fan of basketball, you really have to be enjoying this. This is an impressive display. You never like to see a team get blown out like this, especially when it's kids representing their countries. But this USA performance has been extremely impressive. of the rebound, kick out, three on the way, splash. Aaron Peterson hits from three-point range. And USA, even though they're not pressing, they're off to a 9-0 start in this third quarter. 818 likes on our YouTube stream. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Nearly 4,700 viewers right now. Jordan Charles launching the three-pointer. Missed wide left. Rebound, Koa Beat. JJ. I think he thought that Koa Pete was going to elevate. That looked like it was a pass almost. Three from the corner, missed. Rebound tipped and controlled by Cameron Boozer. JJ thought about that three pointer, and now USA. It's the offense reset. Eight to shoot. Into the corner. Cameron Boozer for three. Splash. <laughs> USA by 60. Canada with five on the shot clock. Want to check out the stats on this game as well as all the other games in this tournament. Rundowns of all the rosters. Head to FIBA.basketball slash Americas slash U16 slash 2023. And for additional content aimed at these international youth stars of the future. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Next Gen Hoops. And Boozer goes up and wrecks that one. And it's a 14 0 burst to start this third quarter for USA.
Rebound away from Ethier, short. Isaiah Headley Smith tried to go reverse, could not get it. Now here's Peterson. The gentle dunk for Aaron Peterson. Aaron Peterson now 13 points. Cameron Boozer with 24 and 11 rebounds. Bonsa tries ripping the rebound down. It goes off of Godson Okoko. And that'll be USA ball. to talk about in this game and this tournament when you do on social media. Use the hashtag PBU16Americas. Ball tipped out of bounds and it will stay with USA. Wainton's a little short on that one, goes back up, can't get it to go. Question in the chat, did USA win so big against the other teams? Yep, sure did. Defeated Puerto Rico 96-61 in the opener, 113-52 over Argentina, 122-53 over Mexico, 123-45 over Uruguay, and in the semis, 122-63 over Puerto Rico. USA really has continued to gel as this tournament has gone on. And now a little bit more pressure in the backcourt. And off to Patterson. Nine to shoot. Here's Jordan Charles. And Nandi Ogali able to finish underneath. Pretty baseline jumper for Jaden Quaintance. Nineteen two run to open this third quarter by USA. Patterson has it stolen away. Alley oop up ahead to Tyron Stokes. <laughs> Nearly another steal by Jaden Quaintance. A shot by Charles missed. The USA back the other way. That alley oop swatted out of there. will go for Elijah Patterson. Get out into the corner. Montanati, that's his favorite spot. He's been just scorching the floor from that spot. He just missed from there. Shot clock winding down, no good. Rebound for Coco. <laughs> Question in the chat, what was my reaction when Iverson crossed up Jordan and made him break dance? Tip your hat, nice play by Allen Iverson. Jordan still the go. Undisputed. Kick out to Holt. 
Lincolns gets it back, goes to the left hand, wouldn't go, and Charles out of there with it. Inside two minutes to play, third quarter. Cross court pass, three on the way, short. Rebound, Holt. Oh my goodness, Tyron Stokes. Question in the chat, what is my prediction for this game? My prediction is I think the USA has a good chance to win. Ninety-six twenty-five. Stokes now with 13. Charles, the shot rattles in. 18 feet. Three-pointer by Holt misses. Rebound tip by Osaruyi. It'll stay with USA. agree with the one comment that there should not be a mercy rule here. These aren't little kids. This is how you get better. Your team on the unfortunate end of this, you play against better competition, you measure yourself and you compete as long and as hard as you can. Exactly, this is a big opportunity, a big stage for all these players. A reaction to LeBron breaking the all-time scoring record, cementing his spot above Jordan as the GOAT. I think that was a great accomplishment by LeBron James, but he is absolutely not the greatest of all time. That crown sits firmly on the head of Michael Jordan. 98-27 at the end of three quarters of play. We are back with fourth quarter action live from Poliform Zamna in Merida, Mexico, in just a couple of moments. faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Oh. 
Welcome back to the gold medal game between Team USA and Canada. Yes, you're seeing that score correctly. 98-27, USA outscored Canada in that third quarter, 27-4, and they stopped the full court press. As we look at the individual numbers on this, seven points for Caden Boozer, six assists, three steals. Brandon McCoy, four points, three boards. Jaden Quint, it's 9.6 rebounds. Cameron Boozer, 24 points on 10 of 13 shooting. He's also got 11 rebounds. AJ DeBonsa, 12.7 boards, five assists. Caleb Holt, two points. Koa Pete, 11 and six rebounds. He's also got four steals. Darren Peterson, 13.7 rebounds. Jaden Quaintance, nine and six rebounds as Quaintance sits down. Teron Stokes, 13 points on six of seven shooting. Three rebounds, four assists. AJ Mandiquit, five points. For Canada, Quinton Ethier, five points, four rebounds, two assists. Paulo Sarui, seven points. My Samuels, one point. Alexandre Calixte, two points. Jordan Charles, six. Namdi Ogali, two. And Elijah Patterson, four. Again, a big hello to all of you watching on our YouTube stream on Team of the Basketball channel on YouTube. More than 4,900 of you watching right now. Just about 900 likes. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We're trying to get over 1,000 for this game as Kamai Samuels hits the tray. Question in the chat, who do I think will be the MVP for USA? It's a good question. I think it'll probably be Cameron Boozer, but I think up until this point, Darren Peterson was the most consistent player, but I think Cameron Boozer probably the best player in this tournament. Koa Pete, not far behind. Isaiah Harwell misses the dunk, but it rolls in. Question in the chat, will I be doing the ladies tournament? Yes, I'll be handling the ladies starting on Tuesday. Zay Wilson says, hey, shout me out, bro. There you go, Zay, that's a shout out. Yep, Teron Stokes, still 15 years old as we answer some of the questions in the chat. A good cop-out answer would be the USA team defense. Not wrong. <laughs> Question in the chat. What's the name of this narrator? My name is Craig Feta. Thanks for asking, by the way. USA wins by a hundred? No, I don't think so. I don't think they will. Uh... I think they will make a very concerted effort to not embarrass Canada by winning by a hundred. What do I think of Canada's performance? I think Canada ran into an absolute buzzsaw. In Team USA, USA has got better and better throughout the course of this tournament. And for as 
good as Canada has played, I don't think they were prepared for the kind of athleticism that Team USA displayed, particularly defensively. If you are watching from Romania at 6.39 in the morning, if you haven't already, go ahead and let us know where you're watching from. Appreciate all the viewers as we are up over 900 likes on our stream. Jumper by Kamai Samuels, no good. Wow, what a move by Brandon McCoy. It did not go in. Quinkins fighting through traffic. Can't get it to go up. And I'll be honest with you, this isn't the worst blowout I've ever seen. I saw the at the senior level, can't remember if it was the South American Championships or FIBA Americas, but the Brazilian women defeated Peru by 80 or 90 points. And Peru only scored, I believe, in the 20s. And that was even more of a blowout than this was. I'd have to look back in my records. Somebody wants to use the magic internet and find what that score was a few years ago. Oh my, the windmill does! Brandon McCoy goes up! Wow! Shot blocked by Quaintance. An easy layup by Caleb Holt. Asks who I think the biggest favorite is for the women's tournament starting on Tuesday. Honestly, I haven't even looked at what teams are playing in that tournament yet. Preparation will be tomorrow. So I'd be able to make a little bit better of a guess. Brandon McCoy. I get somebody's trying to troll me by saying Jordan would never survive in today's basketball. I find that incredibly hilarious considering there's a lot less defense played in today's game. And even when it is played, it's not very physical. Shot blocked by Isaiah Harwell. I disagree, Benjamin. Whoever rings the most, whoever wins the most rings is subjectively the GOAT. Not necessarily. You can have a bench player for the Boston Celtics who won nine rings with Bill Russell or however many it was that he won. And you're gonna tell me he's better than Jordan because he only won six? No, that's not how that works. I know, I know, I should have beat the trolls. Okay. 
109-32. Right spot for Canada, I guess. They've already surpassed their third quarter point total. Got five points in this fourth. Goes off the hand of Godson Okoko. Godson Okoko is going to have a nice future with this Canadian team. As we look at the incredible block by Isaiah Harwell. Team is up nearly 80, but he is still playing hard defensively. Back to Harwell, and now McCoy. Toughest team for USA to play in this tournament? Probably Puerto Rico. Uruguay looked, had some, had some life about them early, but probably Puerto Rico. Another question in the chat, any tips for the driver's license test? Yeah, uh, don't hit anything. Isaiah Headley-Smith trying to circus layup. Hit the rim on the way up. We missed by Holt. I can get on board with Will Chamberlain possibly being better than Jordan. Bar. Phenomenal athletes in their prime. Hey, don't knock the Daisy Duke basketball shorts. Shot clock stolen away by Caden Boozer. And that time Caleb Holt goes up and slams it. Any advice for getting married? <laughs> I'm not touching that one. Now with a 10 foot pole. Uh, Hisham Ali, I appreciate that. Can agree to disagree. One of the great bar stool barroom debates for time and all eternity. LeBron or MJ. Another block by USA. Oh my! Teron Stokes showing off the athleticism again. Yeah, Jimmy Brown, I have an old head. Actually turned 51 this coming Friday. Yep, that makes me an old head. Montanati hits from three. Now that's a good question. Is it a fair assessment to say that those in the NBA now wouldn't hold up against those in the NBA back in the 80s and 90s because it was more physical? No, I won't say that. Because the players now are bigger and stronger and faster than those guys, by and large, in the 80s. So to say that they wouldn't hold up just because the defense was more physical, I don't think that's necessarily accurate. They would probably have adapted to the game back then. Players now, more skilled, better training, no question, no question. 
Yes, if Canada comes back to win this game, I will sing. Captain in the backcourt, and that's going to be a shot clock violation against USA. We've got nearly 6,000 viewers watching right now. 14 seconds left in the game. We're just shy of 1,000 likes. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up on our stream here. Get us over 1,000 for this broadcast. ASAP Anime, I would agree. The shooting is a lot better, a lot better in today's game. No question about that. So this one goes final. Team USA is golden, 118 to 36 over Team Canada. USA just an absolute juggernaut as this tournament wore on. They just made it look so easy. off to Canada for giving it everything they had. They just absolutely had no chance against this absolute buzzsaw of an American team. Celebration starts at center court. USA getting the applause from Team Canada. Indeed, congratulations to Canada for winning silver. As we look at the final numbers on this, there's proud Papa Carlos Boozer, former NBA All Star father of twins Caden and Cameron Boozer. NBA prospects, no doubt. For Team Canada, Alexandre Calixte, four points, three rebounds. Jordan Charles, eight points, four rebounds. Nandi Ogali, two points, five boards. Elijah Patterson, six points, and two steals. Quinton Ethier, five points, four rebounds. Aldo Sarui, seven points, four rebounds. And Kamai Samuels finished with four points. Team USA worked hard to bottle him up. Only one of 11 shooting. For Team USA, Caden Boozer, seven points. Three rebounds, seven assists, four steals. Caleb Holtz, six points. Five rebounds, two assists, four steals. Brandon McCoy, eight points, four rebounds, three assists, two steals. Jalen Montanati, three points, five boards. Teron Stokes, five po uh, 15 points, rather, on seven of eight shooting. He also had five rebounds, five assists. Cameron Boozer, 24 points on 10 of 13 shooting. 12 rebounds and two blocked shots. A.J. DeBonsa, 12 points. Seven rebounds, five assists. Isaiah Harwell, four points, three rebounds, two steals. J.J. Mandekin, five points. Koa Pete, 11 points. Six rebounds and four steals. Darren Peterson, 13 points, seven boards. Jaden Quaintons, 10 points, 10 rebounds, and three block shots. Got a question from, not sure how I would pronounce this, V. Devin, asking for a shout out. Sure, why not? Thanks for watching. Hey, we're up over 1,000 likes. Thanks for that so much, everybody. Can't tell you how much. We appreciate that. Still 39 
hundred people watching. We've got the medal ceremony coming up. Puerto Rico, the bronze medal winners, defeating Argentina a little while ago. The silver medal and then the gold plus the all-star five. And the MVP. Here's the hardware. The USA will be lifting that in a few minutes. medals that those young men will be able to show their friends and families for years U19 World Cup coming up here in a few weeks.
third member of the All-Star Five. Cameron Boozer.
Havana, Puerto Rico getting their bronze medals. Puerto Rico defeated Argentina in overtime in the bronze medal. 86-76. That was a thriller. Argentina came back from 14 down in the second half. for silver in just a moment. Great tournament for Canada. Wins over Dominican Republic. Uruguay, Brazil. Mexico in the quarters and then defeated Argentina in the semis. Team USA just too much in the gold medal game. Full court press made life absolutely miserable. For Canada, just 23 points in the first half. USA gave up just 13 in the second half without the full court press.
Day comes to the podium. Never seen their medals. Yes, Aaron. I will be calling the girls' games next week. Any particular reason why you want me to watch out for McKenna? Activity apply there. Ron Stokes so eager to get that medal around his neck. He's going to jump the line there. Now the coaching staff for Team USA, Sean White, Scott Fitch, and Chet Mason. along with Canada, Argentina, and Puerto Rico, advancing to the 2024 U-17 World Cup next year in Turkey. for the U.S. National Anthem and then the presentation of the big trophy. the presentation of the trophy. Pete lifts the hardware for his victorious teammates. And big smiles all around for Team USA winning gold. 